Another winter storm hits Maryland, taking a live look from the Michael and Son Weather Lab in Westminster. You can see some flakes still coming down, and it is sticking to everything, especially the roads. Now, Maryland State Police activated the snow emergency plan in effect for more than half a dozen counties. And we have team coverage tonight. Bob Turk is in the First Alert Weather Center tracking that nor'easter. But let's start with Christina Mendez. She is outside in Canton. Hey, Christina, what are you seeing outside right now? Hey, Kelsey. Yeah, you can see the snow coming across the camera. It's really bringing it down to the ground. The wind is actually picking up a little bit more than what we saw earlier this afternoon. I'm going to step out so we can show you exactly what we're seeing here on the roads of Canton. You can see quite a few cars are actually making their way down Boston Street towards the highway. And speaking of the highway, we do know after speaking with MDOT earlier tonight that 2,000 pieces of equipment are going to be hitting state roads and they are out in full force. They're working well into the night into tomorrow to make sure that roads are as clear as they are going to get. We do know that Friday and Saturday, much of those days were spent pre-treating all of the roadways here, uh, state roadways that is, and that was in preparation for what we're seeing right now. And what I can also tell you is that they're going to be working, making sure that there's no problems with refreeze, at least again on those state roadways. We're going to have more on what their tips are tonight at 11, but for now, let's toss it where it's much warmer inside. Back to <laughs> Bob Turk in the first alert. Weather Center. Yes, it is. Thank you, Christina. Good luck out there. Yeah, it's kind of a nasty night. It's going to get worse later because we've got rain, believe it or not. Right now, just south of the Baltimore region, already seeing a mix happening. Some sleet, freezing rain for a while, and then just solid rain to the south and east, where warmer air is coming in from the Atlantic Ocean to the west. It's all snow. Some of these echoes showing some moderate to heavy snow. Only in the last hour has it been a little heavier. It was pretty light most of the afternoon. It started around 245. It should be going through a transition rather shortly as we continue to move through the late afternoon evening hours, it will eventually transition to just plain rain. We still have a winter weather advisory to 1 o'clock, just rain in the eastern shore, but a winter storm warning for all those westerners. That's where we're going to see the heaviest amounts. Generally, 1 to 2 from the south of the city. Mainly rain again on the eastern shore, which is already happening. Generally, I think 2, 3, 4 inches in the central portion of the region, maybe as much as 5, some areas. 4 to 8 to the west. 8 to 12 plus Garrett County. Those areas are going to see blizzard conditions as the winds pick up later tonight. Could get as high as 30 to 45 miles an hour. So we've got snow. Some of it heavy for a little while, then a period of icing. Then some heavy rain later on. Gusty winds could be some minor urban street flooding where we have some clogged storm drains, etc., and some slush. Tomorrow morning, for a short time, there could be a brief freeze up because we do expect a little batch of snow showers to come through. More gusty winds, sunshine by the afternoon, with coastal flooding definitely a possibility. So we're seeing this transition between now and seven, between seven and eight, change to a wintry mix that's sleet, freezing rain for a while, and some snow. Between eight and ten, just cold rain moving there. That will help wash away all the snow and the sleet. So when you get up, most folks from Baltimore South won't see a whole lot of snow left. It'll just be melting away. We do have coastal flood watch. The northern areas here, because we've seen the winds come up the bay, there'll be some flooding there. Bowley's quarters, maybe up toward Habitat Grace. Southern areas, coastal flood warning. A very good chance we'll see higher than normal tides at time of high tides all along the coastal region, the, the bay, southern portion of the bay as well. Now, temperature wise, it's down, it's up to 45 degrees in Ocean City. That warmer is eventually moving in our direction. Already 32 in eastern, 36, so it's only a matter of time before we start warming up aloft. That will change this precipitation. A quick look at the future cast. Here comes the rain. You see 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, solid rain in the region, solid heavy rain by 11. But by midnight, 1 o'clock, it's off to the north and east, but a little bit of snow possible at 4 or 5 in the morning. As you can see, that's what we're dealing with through Monday, then it clears out a good chance we'll see a good deal of sunshine, hopefully before the noon hour as things dry out for a holiday won't be all that bad by the afternoon. Have an updated forecast coming up later this evening. Kelsey, back to you. All right, thanks, Bob. Stay with First Alert Weather on air and online at WJZ.com and CBSN Baltimore. We will have the latest updates on the winter storm throughout the night and into the morning. We'll see you again later tonight.